Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's make some tteokbokki, spicy rice cakes. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please, let's be friends. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the most basic style of tteokbokki. So if you guys uh, want to modify it in any way, you definitely can do so. But this is how I'm going to do it for you. I'm starting off by boiling some broth here, five cups of broth. So you use whatever broth that you want or use water. You can use two, three, four, however many eggs that you like, but I'm just gonna use the two here. Just boil some hard boiled eggs and then let's get our fish cakes. I bought the assorted fish cakes pack because I like the different look, the textures and the variety of shapes and sizes. You can use this to make udon noodles because it brings a sauce in there for you too. But I mean, you don't have to use this. You can use the regular sheets if you would like. I went ahead and cut up some green onions as well. You guys didn't need me chopping that up for you. And now I'm just going to get my fish cakes out and I'm going to cut these up in whatever shapes that I want. So you don't have to do what I'm doing. You don't, Again, you don't have to use what I'm using. But if you do, I'm just cut it in whatever shapes, bite-sized pieces that you would like. I feel like having the assorted kind because they all have a different texture to it just gives the rice cakes a little bit more something to it. But I did use the entire pack because I'm going to be using an entire pack of rice cakes as well, which you will see. But this is how they all look once they're all cut up. Now I know most people use the cylindrical tube type style, but I really like the flat rice cakes because I feel like you get more sauce all over it. More, I don't know, it's just me and my preference. You can use whichever kind that you want. But I did go ahead and throw this in some water and all I'm going to do is break up these pieces. Break up as many of them as you find as you can. They will easily come apart once you start eating them. But again, just uh, you'll see they're gonna do this. And if you get the tube, the cylindrical kind, exact same thing, you're gonna wanna break those apart as well. So it's not just the flat shape that you see here. All right, moving right along here, I am going to add 1 8 of a cup of red pepper paste right into the pot. Just so you guys know, all the ingredients that I'm adding straight into the pot, you can add it into a bowl separately and put all of your ingredients in there and mix them all up and then give it a taste to see if that's to your liking. For me, I'm just gonna throw it all in there because you guys know, if you've been following me, I don't like dishes. I don't like doing extras if I don't have to, so I'm just gonna throw it all right here, all at once, to make my life a little bit easier. Yes, I know it's just a dish, but guess what? It's never just one dish. <laughs> But basically we're going to put these in here and we're going to keep stirring and let it uh, boil up until the red pepper paste dissolves inside of the broth. You don't want to have any thick type of chunky pieces of uh, broth in there, um, not broth, the red pepper paste like this. So keep stirring it around until you get all pretty smooth all throughout. Once those ingredients are in and dissolved, go ahead and grab your rice cakes and throw the entire package or the, your bowl or whatever it is that you have, they're all right into the pot. Just so you know, at this point, it's all gonna go super fast, okay? So that's why we chopped everything and did everything in advance. Now you just throw in all of the fish cakes, the assorted fish cakes that we have here, throw it all into the pot. And don't worry about the broth, it will thicken up because this is rice cakes that we're using, so the broth does thicken up towards the end once everything's heated and boiled through. Now give this all a good stir just to make sure that everything is nicely covered up and you know, just all coated inside of the sauce. At this point, I am going to add my red pepper flakes. You can omit this part if you wanna keep it more on the mild side, um, but use as much or as little as you'd like. I'm just doing a teaspoon's worth here and mix it all up. After a few minutes, you'll see that everything should be boiling hot at this point. And when you do have it to the boiling, you can see all your liquids are boiling. Grab your green onions that we've chopped up and throw that in there. We do not want the green onions to be wilted. We want them to be still firm but cooked through. So we add it towards the end. You can cover it up with a lid if you like to or you can just leave the lid off of it. Up to you, it's not a huge deal. But look at that broth. See, it did get thicker, right? So you guys don't have to worry about any of that. So all we have to do is just throw all of this into a bowl and serve it. I didn't add this part, but if you guys want to, you can add sesame oil at the end right there and just mix it all up. But just throw this all into a nice bowl, serve it with some sesame seeds. And if you guys like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.